channel so today I decided to film this video completely casual for you guys no makeup because I'm telling you guys the story of our dogs and I decided what better way than how we are always chilling at home with the dogs to do a very casual laid-back video for you guys I'm gonna talk a little bit about how we lost Kaya a couple months ago and then I'm also going to talk about our two rescue dogs that we have we have Abilene and we have Dolly if you follow me on social media you have seen them all the time because I am such a dog mom it's crazy and then I'm also gonna be telling you guys about why I've fallen in love with Chewy and how much money we saved and how we prepared for our rescues by using Chewy to save money and stock up on dog stuff. And y'all know we all love to ball on a budget and you guys are all going to totally switch to Chewy when I tell you how cheap all this stuff was. So first of all, if you're new to my channel, welcome, hello, I'm so glad you're here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss anything else on my channel. But if you're ready to hear all about my dogs and how we save money using Chewy, then y'all can go ahead and keep watching this video. dogs are actually both napping on the couch right now so I will get them in just a minute to show them to you and introduce them to you when I tell you their story but um, if you guys have followed me a long time then you know that Kaya was my sweet baby um, she was my first dog that was mine not like a family dog she was actually like my dog since I was about ugh, 21 22 years old so I am 30 now so she was with me through a lot of life changes she was with me when I first got sober she was my rock through sobriety when I had a lot of lonely tear-filled nights at home when I started really changing my life and she got me through so much if you guys want to hear the whole story of kind of what happened I did a whole podcast episode about losing her she did go into complete liver failure so we lost her um, kind of quickly but she went the best way possible she wasn't suffering she wasn't in pain and she had Andrew and I both with her and we miss her so much like I still cry about it from time to time when I think of certain things or I see old videos or pictures of her I loved Kaya with all of my heart she was my first baby so we have her ashes in her bedroom we have her paw print right up on the shelf up here and we will never never forget her because she was an amazing dog so I was going to do this one at a time but now they're both here and fighting <laughs> so we'll start with Abilene this is Abilene Abilene is a <laughs> Abilene is a from what we know Chihuahua Terrier and Basenji mix um, she is the sweetest babe the biggest cuddle bug she just like wants to love and cuddle and she's very sensitive we have a feeling she was probably abused because anytime you get mad or yell at her or anything she literally just rolls onto her back and acts like she's dead and it's so sad to see her do that but we're pretty sure we don't know her full story from the rescue but from what we were told the kennel quote disposed of her so she was down in texas and we're assuming it was a puppy mill situation because she's got some big old nose she's had lots of babies and she was two when we got her so clearly she was having lots of puppies but abilene is our sweet little girl she was skin and bones when we got her she weighed eight pounds and she is now easily pushing 15 like she has really filled out and it's been so cool to see because her hair has gotten longer she looks so much healthier um, but we got Abilene from a rescue here in Michigan called Bottle Babies Rescue and she did come from Texas and that was how we came up with her name Abilene because Abilene is a city in Texas and we call her Abby and Lane for short but she was our first rescue and she was actually here for a couple months with Kaya uh, right at the end because we got her about four or five months ago and we just lost Kaya so Abby definitely loved Kaya and she really stepped up when we lost Kaya and just comforted us, did everything she could to make us smile and love us again. And she loved all over us. She was just like our rock through that whole process. And Abby is just the sweetest babe ever. Such a lover, so lazy, so tired all the time from a rough life. Um, and we spoil the absolute shit out of her. So she's having a great life now that she's been rescued and living with us. 
Now this is our newest addition. This is Little Miss Dolly, and you'll probably notice right away that she does not look like your normal dog. Uh, Dolly is a Chihuahua Dachshund mix, so she's a Chihuahua, and we didn't actually know that when we got her. We, we got her from Anna's Safe Haven Rescue in Marshall, Michigan, so we had to drive about two hours each way to meet her and to go pick her up, um, but I will just get to the obvious <laughs> story that needs to be told. She was also a rescue. Um, the rescue got her when she was three or four months old, but she was attacked by a larger dog um, with the people she was originally with, and her eye was obviously really badly damaged during the attack. And we don't know everything, but, but from what we know, someone tried to shove her eye back in her head and not take her to the vet. Um, so I've seen pictures of what it looked like. We didn't have her then, but I've seen pictures and it was just heartbreaking. It was like triple the size, swollen and just like crusted over brown. And it was just devastating to see that someone was able to do that to a dog and not take them in and take care of them and make them feel better. So after the rescue got her, they had her eye properly removed and it is stitched shut. So she is a little one-eyed baby. It has healed incredible. The hair is growing right over it. In a couple situations where you can tell she like couldn't see something and ran into it or something like that or she will fall off the couch because the good eye is on the other side and she can't tell where the edge is. Honestly, you would never in a million years know that anything happened to this dog. She is so excited to meet everyone, so loving, so happy. Her tail wags so much and so fast that her entire body moves and she is obsessed with Abby. They play constantly. They are glued at the hip. She just like immediately latched onto Abby when we got her and they are like the best of friends. So from what we learned in research, you know, her eye will never actually affect her. There's nothing that there's nothing we have to do or watch for. She just kind of adjusts. And the fact that it happened so young, like she had both eyes for 10 years and then suddenly lost half of her sight. So she's adapted amazing. Like I said, you never would know this dog was attacked by another dog because like we have to remove her from Abby sometimes and get her off of Abby because Abby will get very upset. She's very sensitive, as I said, but Doll is our newest babe. She's about five and a half months right now and she wants to go play with Abby. I think they're literally running through the house watching a squirrel outside right now. So they're having a great time. Andrew and I have just really fallen in love with our rescues. And you know, it made me want to do this video to kind of put out there to you guys. Like there are amazing dogs and rescues. And there are so many dogs that need homes and need people that are stuck and have been abused and have been in terrible situations that it feels so good knowing you can take them and give them the best life possible. And sometimes at night when we're watching TV and we're all laying on the couch together and we're all cuddling, it's it's crazy to think like what these dogs were living in before and what they went through and where they are now and how different their lives are. And it just makes you wanna love them even more and give them the best life possible. So I wanna tell you guys about ordering from Chewy because it is like balling on a budget times 5,000. If you are pet owners, you know there are like things you have to buy regularly and they, and they add up pretty quickly. So I first heard about Chewy online and honestly I'd heard about it for a while and I didn't check it out. I was just, I love that you can hear the dogs in the background. Like this is so perfect. But I had heard about Chewy for a while. I didn't really know the situation. I've always just gone to the pet store to get my stuff. So, I don't even remember why I first tried it out, but I went on Chewy and I was like, holy shit, everything is so much cheaper. So just to give you guys an example, my first order I ever placed on Chewy was right before Dolly was coming and we knew she was a puppy. We knew we were gonna be potty training. Abby needed food. I also wanted to stock up on treats and stuff before they came. I'm gonna tell you guys what my first order was and I'll put a little screenshot of the total on the screen here somewhere, but so we got a 30 pound bag of Abby's food, a 15 pound bag of Dolly's puppy food, a bag of six seven inch bully bones, which if you guys get bully bones, they are not cheap. And we also got a pack of 50 potty pads because we knew we were gonna be potty training. That whole order, my initial order was $90 shipped. Free two day shipping and I was just like, holy shit, this is the Amazon Prime of pets. This is the greatest thing ever. And I started kind of looking into it and comparing the prices to my local pet store and even other pet stores online that you can order from and all of the prices on Chewy are lower. It's like the Sam's Club Amazon Prime of pets. It's amazing. As long as your order is over $49, you also get free two day shipping. So it's basically like an Amazon Prime situation. It'll be there in two days. So if you're low and you need to order it and you're like, oh shit, it's gonna be there so quick. But I noticed that our dog food especially was at least $5 cheaper than it was in the pet stores or online. Then the other thing as I mentioned, bully bones. Oh my God, if you guys buy bully bones, these are really pricey. They will go through a bully bone in a day or two, like 
quickly. Abilene can go through them even faster because she's obviously a bigger dog. She obviously has bigger teeth than Dolly. So like we go through these like crazy and the dogs love them. They're obsessed with bully bones. So I started buying this exact package. I have two of them here because I order them two at a time. But I started buying this exact bag of six seven inch bully bones from my local pet store and it was $30 in the store. I don't remember the exact price per piece, but like these are not cheap. Like you can buy them individually and it's even more expensive if you do it that way. But I remember the exact price being $30 because I told my mom like, hey, it's so much cheaper to get six of them in this bag for 30 bucks. It works out being way cheaper that way than if you buy them individually. And so when I initially went on Chewy, this was one of the first things I looked up because I know how much we go through these. So I got these bags of Bully Bones on Chewy. I want to say they were like originally 25. They were on sale for 20. So I got these for 20 bucks each. And then this last time I ordered, they were actually on sale even more. So I got six Bully Bones for $15. I literally got both of these bags for $15 each which is half the price of what I was paying at the pet store which is absolutely insane now the other really cool thing you can do on Chewy too is set up auto ship so if you set up auto ship they will take an additional 5% off the total of those items every time they are auto shipped so you're gonna save even more money and I want to say they gave me like 20 or 30% off my first auto ship order so I got an even bigger discount initially just for setting up auto ship and the really cool thing about auto ship is you can change it cancel it at any time and you can pick when they are shipped. So if you know you need something every four weeks, once a month, you can set it for that. I personally set up the food and the bully bones for every six weeks. And I just love the idea that I know when they're coming, they will automatically be shipped. I don't have to think about it. I'm saving money. Like it doesn't get any better than that. So you guys definitely check out Chewy if you are a dog mom like me, if you are obsessed with your dogs and you love buying them stuff. And also if you love to save money, which who doesn't love to save money? I will have the link down below in the description box that will take you directly to Chewy to sign up and become a member and start saving money today. You guys, balling on a budget, jump on this one. It is such a good deal and I can't believe how much money I'm saving every month on my dogs and my dog supplies just by going through Chewy instead of driving to the store or ordering from a different pet store online. So I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my dogs today and hearing the story of both of our rescues. And I hope you guys also check out Chewy, save some money and stack up on your goodies for your dogs. And just a reminder you guys, adopt, don't shop. I know people always say that about rescues, but honestly, I love knowing that we have rescued dogs and saved them and taken them out of bad situations and they're now living their best life possible. Y'all know I'm all about living your best life, but I love that I can give that to my dogs too when they had kind of a rough start and I've really turned their lives around for the better as well. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you are a dog mom. Let me know what kind of pets you have, if you have any rescues, where you've rescued them from. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well and subscribe if you have not yet so you don't miss any of my other videos. But I think that is all I have to say right now. So until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video.